Hey everyone, my name is Richard Taylor and this is One More Thing. When I do a live stream, I usually have a countdown graphic to allow people a few minutes to know that I've gone live. It's a motion video I make in Final Cut Pro and then export as ProRes 4444 to preserve transparency. ProRes 4444 has been the king until recently. As you can imagine, these files are very large in size. Now we can export a much smaller video file with transparency using the HEVC codec. In part one, we're going to work in QuickTime Player and Compressor. This video is playing in QuickTime Player. The background looks black, but it actually is transparent. You can see the transparency here in Final Cut Pro. In QuickTime Player, go up to the File menu, Export As, I'm going to keep it 1080p, which is what it is. And in the Export dialog, use HEVC, which is H.265, and check Preserve Transparency. If you don't try to export a video file with transparency like ProRes 4444, you won't see the Preserve Transparency option in QuickTime. Click Save. Let's compare the file sizes. So the original file, Circle Countdown 6, Blue Purple, 112 megabytes. The new one, HEVC with transparency, is 1.2 megabytes. Let's open it up. Looks pretty darn good. So that works very efficiently, free and easy. Everybody on the Mac has QuickTime. It's easy to do. Let's take a look and see how we might do this in Compressor. Here we are inside Compressor. Go to Video Sharing Services. I'm going to choose HD 1080p. Right click on it, Duplicate. With that one selected, I'm going to call it HEVC with Transparency V2. Go over to the Video tab. For codec, choose HEVC. And once you choose that, you have an option now, Preserve Alpha. I found that the data rate, web publishing at 10,000, 11,000 kilobits per second is not enough. So I make a custom one and I make it 20,000. That's better quality for me, especially trying to preserve transparency. Right click on our new setting and choose Save as Droplet. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Click Save. I'm going to create a new batch and call it HEVC with Transparency V2. Now all I have to do is add files. Let's go back and grab some videos. So with Compressor, we can batch convert these. I'm going to select all three of these, add files, and then drag our new setting over to the batch. In this window, you can see before and after the compression, on either side of the line. Click Start Batch. In Compressor's Active window, we can see the status of them processing. We can see the remaining time or the elapsed time. And there we have them. I'm going to close Compressor. Here are our videos created from ProRes 4444 original files into HEVC with transparency. In part two, we'll see how to do this directly in Final Cut Pro. And one more thing, thanks for watching.